Behold, the day of the Lord cometh. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh. Shalom, Amakims. This is your Hebrews, like brother, Meshavah, here in the city of Detroit. We'd like to give all praises and all honors to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elects. Shalom, Amakims and Aquims. Uh, today's lesson is on Zechariah 14. We're going to just go straight off into it and get all the meat off that bone. Okay? So this is Zechariah chapter 14, starting in verse 1. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and the spoil and, and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst, midst of thee. Because the time is coming when the Lord comes, he's coming to divide the sheep from the goat. He's coming to make sure that his will is done. He's going to set up the kingdom of heaven. He's going to shut down all governments, destroy all governments, and destroy all false doctrines when he comes, you see. Verse 2, For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, because that time is coming. That time is coming when the, the people shall be in an uproar, and it's going to be a whole lot of sedition amongst men. Second Esther chapter 15. This is going to happen, and they're going to be rifling through people's houses like it ain't nothing to it. Martial law police, as well as the, the fellows on the streets. And the women ravished. The women are going to be ravished because a lot of you women. Y'all like walking outside wearing whatever y'all want to wear. And y'all will sit up and say, I can wear what I want to wear. I can wear. No, you cannot wear what you want to wear. Because the word sexy means to provoke sexual behavior. Okay? If you're provoking sexual behavior from guys, and guess what? They're going to behave in a sexual manner. Which would include during a time when y'all have troubles. You women know y'all don't want to be out there because, for one, for, for one the guy's going to be looking to rape you women. Y'all going to be ravaged. And even inside your homes, the guys are going to remember, during the time of martial law, they, they're going to remember that they seen you with the kids, y'all coming home, y'all got bags of groceries, y'all either got that wick or y'all got that focus hope, you know? And see, and the guys were sitting on their porch, they was watching, they was watching you. Your every move, your every moment. And see, so all this is going to happen and transpire. See, and the women ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity. You see? Why half? Because you got half of the people that are wiser than the other half. The, 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 the half that's not wise, those the half that's going to get caught up. They are the simple. They get, get caught up easily. They, they get caught up. But the half that don't get, get caught up, they're the prudent. They look well beyond, you know, their goings to make sure that they, their footing would be proper and straight. And the residue of the people, the residue of the people, shall not be cut off from the city. You see? You see? The residue should not be cut off from the city. See, and that, that, that's where mostly all a lot of uh, chaos is going to be happening in the streets. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle. You see, the Lord fights for us. We can look forward to that. We can look forward to the Lord fighting for us. When people try to battle against us, they're not battling against us. They're battling against the Lord. You see, Acts chapter 3 uh, makes it clear that those that do not adhere to us hopeful elects, those that do not adhere to us prophets, us teachers, if they don't bother to listen to us, then guess what? They're going to be destroyed. That's, that's in Acts chapter 3. They're going to be destroyed. This is verse 4. And his feet shall stand in that day. Upon the Mount of Olives, I'm talking about Yahweh, 
which is before Jerusalem, on the east and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof, tower the east, toward the east and toward the west, and there shall be a very and there shall be a very great valley, and half of the mountain shall remove toward the north, and half of it toward the south. You see? All these things are going to transpire and go on and happen when the day of the Lord, when he cometh. Because there's going to be a lot of events, a lot of different things that are going to uh, 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 touch off, you know? And it's going to be because of the Lord and what he's doing. Verse 5, And ye shall flee to the valley of the mountains. The mountains represents the powers, the, the, uh, the governments, the nations. For the valley of the mountains shall reach into Azal. Ye, yea, ye shall flee like as ye fled from before. And that's in every direction. We, we were scattered. Before the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah. And the Lord my God shall come. And all the saints with thee. Revelation chapter uh, uh, 7. Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Okay. And when the Lord shall come, he shall bring all the angels of the kingdom of heaven with him. He's going to empty them all out. Okay. And it shall come to pass in that day that the light shall not be clear nor dark. The light should not be clear nor dark. Ain't there something? But it shall be one day which shall be none known, shall be known to the Lord, not day, not night, nor night, but it shall come to pass that at evening time it shall be light. You see? It's when the Lord coming, he's coming with light, and mighty power and angels. He's coming. And it shall be in that day that living waters shall go out from Jerusalem. Okay? Living waters. Okay, half of them toward the former sea, and half of them toward the hint the hinder sea. Okay, in summer and in winter shall it be. You see, these things are going to happen. These these, these things are going to transpire. <clears throat> A lot of people talk about they wait on the day of the Lord. They wait on the day of the Lord. Well, Amos chapter five verse eighteen. Woe unto you who wait upon the day of the Lord. For what end is it to you? For the day of the Lord is a day of darkness and no light. A day of darkness and no light at all. You see? So that's what they can look forward to. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord. And his name, one. Yahweh shall. That's the name. That's the Lord's name. Verse 10. All the land shall be turned as a plain. Flat. And from Jibba to Ramon, south of Jerusalem. And it shall be lifted up and inhabited in her place. From Benjamin's gate unto the place of the first gate, unto the corner gate, and from the tower of Hinnanel, unto the king's wine press. Okay? okay. That's, that's verse 11. And men shall dwell in it, and there shall be no more utter destruction but Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited. When that time come, when the Lord moves us from out of America and all, all the nations where he has scattered us and he gathers us up all back together and bring the remnant to, back to Jerusalem and back to Israel, okay? 
that time there will be no, no more destruction. All that will be, will be done in the day of the Lord. You see? Verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. And you got all the nations that have fought against us. They fought against us tooth and nail. They've made things very hard for us. They put us through a great slavery. They never gave us reparation. They always kept us down as the low, the low grade of society. Yet we still stand. Why? Because of Yahweh, by Shimei Shah, he's not done with us. We are his chosen people. That's all there is to that. Okay? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Now, you see that? You're talking about their flesh. You're talking about uh, Sarah Connor in the movie Terminator when she was hanging on the gate. And she was hollering, no, oh, no. And that nuclear blast hit her. It stripped all her flesh off of her bones in an instant and turned her flesh into instant carbon ash. Just like that in an instant. And so, this, so that's what that's talking about. And how do you do that? You do that with what? Nuclear fire. And that's what you do that with. Their flesh shall con consume away while they stand before their feet. So you, you use nuclear fire for that. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. You see? That's nuclear blast. From, that's from the nuclear destruction that's going to come and befall upon America. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. You see? The only thing that could do that is a nuclear a bomb detonation. Completely, completely incinerate the people in an instant. Hundreds of thousands of people in an instant, as soon as the bomb would go off, they would be completely incinerated. They would leave shadows on the ground. And the bomb would detonate above the ground. So that way it would be much more devastation. You see? So that's all talking about nuclear uh, destruction. Verse 13. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them. You see? They're going to be in trouble. Flat out. And they shall lay hold, everyone, on the hand of his neighbor. And his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. You see, because it's, it's going to be sedition amongst men. It, it's going to be Isaiah chapter 3, verse 5. Neighbor against neighbor. Exodus chapter 20, verse 16. Bringing false witness against thy neighbor. All these things are going to happen. All these things are going to happen. It's going to be neighbor against neighbor. Verse 14. In fact, you know something? Hold on. Let's, let's do this. I'm going to do this right quick. We're going to take this to uh, Isaiah uh, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 5. And it reads, And the people shall be oppressed. They are. They're going to be oppressed. Every, every one by another. You see? Because each person is going to be going back and forth trying to take what the other person has. Okay? And everyone by his neighbor. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient. That means these young fools are, are going against the old. The, the old. You know, young men against old men. That sort of thing. You know, the young against the ancient. You know, and the only thing we were trying to do is teach them, but they don't want to learn. And they can't learn because they're too damn dumb to learn. You see? And the base against the honorable. 
Now you're talking about the base, talking about low base. Low base men against honorable men. These things are coming. When a man shall take hold of his brother of the house of his father, saying, Thou hast clothing, be thou our ruler, and let this reign ruin, ru ruin be under thy hand. You see? In that day shall he swear, saying, I will not be an healer, for in my house is neither bread nor clothing. Make me not a ruler of the people. Because at that time, you're going to have false prophets. that They're not, not going to have a thing. They got something now, but in that day, the false prophets are going to be forsaken. They're not going to want to be uh, uh, looked upon as uh, a, a prophet of anything. For Jerusalem is, for Jerusalem is ruined, and Judah is fallen, because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord, to provoke the eyes of His glory. You see, you see, these are the things that that's going on. You see. Back to four, verse 14. And Judah also shall fight at Jerusalem. Okay? Shall also fight at Jerusalem. You see? You see? Because Judah is the southern kingdom of the southern kingdom. And the northern kingdom, that is of Jerusalem. But Judah is going to fight with, with them against the enemy. Okay? In that day, all are going to be as one. And the wealth of all the heathen round about shall be gathered together, gold, silver, and apparel in great abundance in that day. Because the disciples shall have, you see. Verse 15, and so shall be the plague of the horse, of the mule, of the camel, and of the ass. That means all livestock. Cattle and different things, all all of the even taking care of the, all that's gonna come to a halt in that day. There won't be no taking care of the animals. Won't be none of that. And of all the beast, you see, that shall be in this this tent, these tents, as this the as this plague. You see, when the time comes. It's starting to get a little. Uh, verse 16. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations shall come against Jerusalem, shall come against us, shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the feast of And to keep, where it go? Okay, up here. And to keep the feast of tabernacles, verse 17. And it shall be that whosoever will not come up on, up, up of all the families of the earth until, unto Jerusalem, to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, every, even upon them shall be no rain in that day, you see, in that time, you see. And so you know, remember to press your, your like button if you haven't done so already. And also, if you can remember to press the subscription button if you haven't done so already, so that way, and press the no notification bell, so that way you can receive notifications each time I put out a video. I might have to end the video here because the phone is starting to freeze up. This is verse 18, and it and if the family of Egypt go not up and come not, that have no rain, 
there shall be the plague. You see, we're in. The Lord will smite. You see, because it's going to be, uh, look, it's freezing up. I'm going to have to close, 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 close the video out. It keeps freezing up. You see, now it's doing its own thing. Oh, I'm to keep the feast of the tabernacles. This shall be. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to close it out because it's free. It's it unfroze up. It's not even moving. It's, it's not going one way or another. Let me close it out. Let me do this here. How about we do that? Do this. Do this. Okay, now let's see. Now, there we go. There we go. Now let's continue. Let's go back up to where we was. Okay, and then I think we're right about here. And it shall be in that day that living waters should go out from Jerusalem. Half of them toward... Hold on, I already read that part. Let's see, so I guess we was on 15. And it shall be the plague of the horse. Yeah, there you go. And it shall be the plague of the horse, the mule. We read this part already. Let's go down here to uh, and it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations which come against Jerusalem shall even go up. Okay, we already did that. To lock you. Is this from phone when it froze up? We would have kept going straight on through. Verse 19. That's what we was. Verse 19, this shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all nations that come up to keep the feast, that come not up to keep the feast. If they don't come up to keep the feast of tabernacles, that it should be their punishment. In that day, and this is the punishment, in that day shall there be a, a, upon the bells of the horses, holiness unto the Lord, and the pots in the Lord's house shall be like the bowls before the altar. Now, let's take this over to, let's see. And it reads, therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. It, during the, this is during the time of the Lord's day. How ye for the day of the Lord is, is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. You see? Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. You see? Shall melt. Because because of the different things that are going to be going on, a man ain't going to be able to stand strong, hold his chest out, act like he Mister All That, Mister Real Man. No, 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 not doing the day, not doing the time on the day of the Lord. You see, verse eight, and they shall be afraid, pains and sorrows shall take hold of them. You see, because they're going to be plagued. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth, that that travaileth, they shall be amazed one at, a, at another. Their faces shall be as flames. As when nuclear fire, nuclear fire sets their face ablaze like flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel but with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners therein out of it. You see, that time is coming. That time is coming. The day of the Lord. You see, 
We have to remember that. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened and is going forth and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. In the day of the Lord, there's going to be so many different things going on. You know, the people is going to be so dismayed. It's going to be craziness going on. It's going to be nuclear bombs going off here and there. That's going to that's going to automatically it's going to block out the sky with all the brightness of the uh, magnesium and and thermite that's inside the uh, 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 the bombs, causing all that brightness and all that heat. It's going to, it's going to be an amazing thing, truly amazing. Verse 11, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy, the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. You see? You see? All these things when the Lord cometh. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh. And when it does, when he gets here, it's going to be a great devastation. Remember, he's going to start in the house. He's going to start in, in, in the sanctuary, slaughtering the uh, uh, fake uh, uh, prophets. Okay, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse uh, 7. Okay, destroying them. Okay. Verse 12, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedges of a fire. And that's because of this knowledge, this truth, this wisdom. That's what's going to make us where we're going to be so precious, more precious than gold. Because this word, when they, when it, when it, when they become a famine of the word, Amos chapter 8 verse 11, when it's a family of the word, people are going to want to hear this truth. They're going to want to hear this word. They don't want to hear it now because they got all these many different distractions keeping them, you know, standing in front in their way. But the time is coming when all the distractions are going to be removed. America is going to be shut down. Things in the American dollar are going to be collapsed. All these different things are going to be transpiring and going on. You see? And so, therefore, the people are going to be in such a, a disarray. It's going to be amazing. It's truly going to be amazing. But these are the things that are to come, up, come upon the earth. You see? Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place. You see? Reeling like a drunkard in the wrath of the Lord of hosts. In the day of his fierce anger. You see? You see? These are the things that's coming. These are the things that's coming. So, Lord willing, hopefully you were edified by this uh, today's video, by today's lesson. Yes, we could have went to a whole lot of different uh, precepts, okay? And uh, But there's always going to be extra precepts. Hopefully you were edified. Let's read one more. And it shall be at, as the chase roll and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee one another to his own land. You see? When the time come. When the time come. And so, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to close the video out. Hopefully you were edified. We'd, we'd like to give all praises and all honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadosh. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. That taught us this truth, peace and salutation to the hopeful elects. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, that means shot, and everyone that is joined uh, unto them shall fall. That means do not be joined unto the enemy. Uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 28. Uh, though, though joined hand in hand, the wicked shall be punished. The seed of the righteous shall be delivered. You see? You see? You see? So they shall fall by the sword. You see? And their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. 
Let me see. When the time come on the day of the Lord. Let me see. Hopefully you were edified. I'm going to say shalom to all you hopeful elects. Stay strong and keep it on. And we ain't got long. Okay? So remember, we like to give all praise and all honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shad, by Hashem, and Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that taught us his truth. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elects. Shalom to the hopeful elects.